Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old Mod 6. Uh, this episode, we're over by our B area. Um, originally, it wasn't intentionally. I was just sort of looking around at like what our options were for this episode. But now it is intentionally. <laughs> now we're here for a reason. The reason is, I want to upgrade this centrifuge controller. Um, for a number of reasons. The first one is, well, because we can now. Because this guy cost a bunch of gold. And that was honestly my limiting factor before. was just, I didn't have this much gold. I, I, I had no idea how you would even get this much gold. It's three times compressed golds. That means it's like blocks and blocks and blocks of gold. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, right? Um, well, with our Void Miner, now, well, you could say, you could argue, that we now have blocks and blocks and blocks of gold. So, so that we're going pretty good in the gold department. Um, so, so I am definitely a fan of that. That means we can make it. The reason why we're going to make it, because you might be wondering, well, if we have that much gold, why do we need to make it? Is because we can get, like, um, you know, our vibranium and stuff from these centrifuges, and these other tiers do something cool. So, um, at the moment, we've got an elite one, and it just, I'm pretty sure it just, like, allows you to process multiple things faster, you, you know, that sort of thing. Once you get to this tier three, which uses the, um, the elite one, you can hold shift and read about it. This one's three times faster than just a normal one. It multiplies the outcome by two. So this is going to be doubling. Doubling everything that we produ uh, you know, process through it. Um, the maximum item stack size, so in one of the like little columns, instead of being 64, uh, apparently it's going to be 256. Um, so that's ridiculous. It does consume twice the RF, but I mean, you you've seen our RF. That's not an issue. Or, or at least I don't think it's going to be an issue. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that because that sounds incredibly awesome. Um... Yeah, and, and, and I'll have to hook up the, the recipes and whatnot. And then from there, can we get a tier 4? Um, it's going to need diamonds instead of gold. Do we have that many diamonds? Ooh, we have a lot. We have a lot. I'm not sure if that's enough. I'm not sure if 169,000 blocks of diamond is enough. Like, like genuinely, I'm not sure. But we're going to find out. We're definitely going to find out. Um, so, I believe we're just going to head back to our doo -doo -doo area over here. Another thing I want to do, uh, I, oh yeah, I, I placed this barrel down. Um, I might move the crafter somewhere else. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know where to, but I, I, I sort of feel like they're responsible for my horrible frame rate. Like, I walk over here, beautiful frames, I get specifically to my house and it's horrible. Even if I run back out here, look, we get like beautiful frames. So like, it's something about the house. I, I don't know what it is though, um, but, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay. So, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, the, the, the patterns. By the way, still a little bit, you know, hit with uh, hay fever. And on top of that, it is extremely sweaty where I am currently. So, if I start getting angry during the video or, like, you know, if I start messing things up, that is that is my excuse. Um, so, let me go ahead and get these uh, patterns made. What's the tier 5? Is the tier 5 doable? It's just going to be emeralds instead. How many emeralds do we have? We, we don't have as much, but I mean, we can, we can see how many diamonds it uses, or I guess we'll see how much gold it uses. Alright, so we are going to actually have to pick this guy up and bring him with, so, um, yeah, we'll just ignore that. Um, here we go. Pick this whole thing up. Beautiful. We've got it with us. We've also got the, uh, the pipe upgrade, which we'll, we'll, we'll replace that as needed. Um, head back to our wonderful, humble abode over here. Um, chuck in the two patterns for these guys. Chuck in our ingredients, so the um, elite centrifuge is what's needed to make this. Then we're going to search um, centrifuge again. So we're going to need one controller. Um, missing elite controller. Well, that's that's just a blatant lie. In fact, we, we do actually have two of these. Really. But none of them are cooperating. Okay. That, you, you know what, actually, I think we can get this to work. Let me bring both of this stuff out. I think what we can do is update the recipe, sort of like we have to do with um, environmental core. I believe that's what it's called. So like um, centrifuge controller, we're going to remove this, and we're going to place in specifically our one, and set it to exact. And that might do the trick. It's possible. And we'll do the same for this. We'll put in um, our centrifuge casing, make sure it's on exact, and update that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if this worked. I, I think it should. I believe that should work. Controller, start. Here we go. I'm going to click craft. Oh, did we read how much gold that was going to use? I don't think we did. And as you can see, it that, that took it a fair a fair bit of time. How much gold do we have now? 1.1 mil. Okay. Maybe we're fine. How many centrifuge um, casings do we need? So it needs to be a what? A 3x3x4. I mean, is it just all of these? 
Do I just make 69 um, centrifuge casings? Let me place these first. Okay, so judging by this, we don't need 29 of them. Oh, so let me put the 29 away. Um, but what we do need is 35. So I'm going to craft 35 of these um, casings tier 3. So 35. Um, How much gold will that be? That will be um, only 100,000. Okay, that's actually not too bad because that means we can do the diamond because we, we have 100,000 blocks. I don't think we have 100,000 emerald blocks though. Um, let's go ahead and click craft. So there we go. Can I open up this monitor and have a little look, a little spy on how quickly this is happening? Um, have a look at this number go down. <laughs> that is that is ridiculous. Now, if we had like, if you were playing single player or something, I would highly recommend setting up a creative crafter. Um, on the server, it, they're they're just incredibly overkill. And if you if you are doing it in single player, be very careful because I mean it crashes the server, which means it definitely can crash your uh, single player. I I would guess. Um, and make sure maybe you've got some backups. I know when I used to play single player, I never used to have backups. Um, but, but I, I guess <laughs> maybe you should start doing that, especially if you're in this very late game. You, you definitely want to try to set up some sort of consistent backups, even if you're like deleting them as you're making them sort of thing. Cause like, it's just, you'll crash once and then you just lit up a backup and, th and that'll be easy. Look at how long this is taking though. This is ridiculous. While that was happening, I was going to see how much emeralds we have. We have 73,000 blocks, so, so we're, we're getting there. Um, we don't have any ores, so like that's not a thing. Um, press block. I, I believe what we currently have is a compressed drawer that has emeralds, blocks of emeralds, and compressed blocks of emeralds like in it. So I think that that's not like extra. That's We either have this many emeralds, or we have this many blocks, or we have this many compressed. Um, just the way that the um, compressed drawers work. They're a little bit confusing in our refined storage. What I was going to do was make the recipes for these real quick because I'm pretty sure we can make them. Ooh, I've got, yeah, I'll have to add the compressed diamonds. I was like, how do we do the the um the gold then? But I remembered I'd I'd made the um recipes for these in the past. Okay, it, they're complete. Um, I could upgrade straight away, but I kind of want to just at the very least have a look to see how it works. So we'll place all this stuff down, and I guess we can see how it looks. Um, I like to build mine like this. I don't know if it's specifically the way that it's meant to be built. I know that they're meant to be built in these 3x3s three and then 4 blocks tall. Uh, but I'm not sure where the controller has to go, if it has to go there or not. Um, so here we go. This is it. This is the interface. Um, doesn't look much different, I'll be honest. The RF goes there. I guess you can put like crazy amounts of stacks. Should we give this a try? I think we have some honeycomb lying around. I'm going to get 3 stacks of this. And I'm going to try and put them all in. Okay. I'm, what I'm confused about is it said that it could have um, max item stack 256. Do you think that's in this spot at the bottom? That I can't play stuff? Do you reckon that's what it means? Maybe that's the case. That I, I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, well, anyway. let's. Oh, I'll actually have to change those recipes to um, include these centrifuges. So yeah, all I'm doing is you know removing the case there and placing my own one in and make it exact. And, and I'll do that for both of these. And then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and craft ourselves a um, tier 4 controller. Just one. We don't want to accidentally craft a bunch of them. And then, that's it done. Here it is. It's beautiful. Then the casings, we would like 35. And there goes pretty much all of our blocks. I'm a little, oh, they're already compressed. So this is actually going to be a, a much faster craft because um, our diamonds are compressed as diamond, um, diamond blocks and compressed diamond blocks because they don't obviously have like a nugget. Um, that they can be turned into. So that should actually be... Yeah, look at look at that craft. That's a lot faster. Let me show you, by the way, in case you're a little bit confused by what I'm saying. Um, so if we go over here, right, in these compacting drawers, our gold shows us a nugget, a bar, or, you know, an ingot, and a block. But for these diamonds and, like, the emeralds and stuff, because they don't really have a nugget, they store as a diamond, a block of diamond, and then the compressed block. Um, so that's just explaining exactly how that works. Um, and same with the emeralds down there. And, and a few other stuff. Like coal, I think. As you can see, down that you have... I, I don't know. My frame rate here is so bad compared to everywhere else. I, I, I definitely need to... We, we need to get out of here. Um, all right. 35 centrifuges. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and run away. Get some frames back over by the uh, big area. Oh, it's beautiful. This is why I like spreading out the base. Because I can come over here and I'm nowhere near the other laggy thing. So... Okay. Here we go. How are we going to do this? Um... I believe what we want to do is a nice base here. Oh, the blue looks very nice. I'm a big fan of this. 
uh, place this here. I'm going to have my controller right there in the middle. Or, you know, as middle as it can be. Being, a, <laughs> being four blocks tall. Um, and here we go. You ready? Bam. Here we go. How much RF does this guy store? He's already filling up with, um, you know, RGB and whatnot. All, all the different honeycombs that I guess we stored up. Um, he's not taking any power yet. Maybe I need to pick this guy up and place him down again. There we go. He's filling up. How much power is that using? 4,000? Uh, okay. And uh, this is meant to what? So the gold one does what? Three, three times faster, and then it multiplies by two. This guy's four times faster, and it multiplies by four. Uh, that means we should be getting a phenomenal amount of all of that stuff. Um, okay, hold on. If we're getting four times, does that mean it's even better for like the um, all the modium stuff? Um, all the modium, because we have a bunch of this honeycomb. Um, what we're currently doing is the mutations, right? Because 80% of the time we get one nugget. If we were to put this in a centrifuge... I believe it would still be 2% of the time we would get 4 times this. So 2% of the time we would get what? Um, 36 nuggets? That's better. That's definitely better, I think. Um, should we just process them all? See how much we get? I mean, we, we might as well, right? Honeycomb. What do we have? Vibranium and then unobtainium. Uh, because what I also want to do is start up our... Um, what should we call it? Now, dragon forges again. We, we definitely need to hook those back up. Let's put these in. I, I thought it would be a lot faster. I'll be honest. This is, this is not the speed I was expecting. Oh, I've got a bunch of rainbow honey. Um, oh, because of the... This guy's no longer connected. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's um, figure out a way to reconnect it. All right, here we go. Add my filter back that's set to nearest first, and I think that should clear it. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all empty now. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how to, how to feel about this. Um. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, the reason why we need to set up the Dragon Forge again is because I want to start chipping away once again at this um ATM star, which it's phenomenal. It, once we get this star, by the way, we can do quite a few cool things. Um. For instance, what are these things? Um, da, 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 da. you can make creative tier stuff, so we can do the next tier of the um apiary. Well, actually, no, because what? There's a there's a tier five, but after tier five, we can do this um creative tier. What's this one? Centrifuge casing. Oh, okay, okay. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, yeah, you can make this creative tier, and I believe we can do the same for the apiary. The apiary has a, a creative tier that needs um the centrifuge, which needs the uh the star, and then these guys need like five times compressed blocks. Eh, eh, I mean, doable, probably. Honestly, what we should probably do is start storing a lot of honey because we will need it in the future. Um, I have an idea. Fluid storage um, cell. Is there like a near infinite um, fluid storage that we can get? I feel like, that. like, what's this? 16, what? wait, wait, wait. Because this is 16,384,000 ,000 fluid storage block. A little bit confused. Oh, here we go. Infinite fluid storage part. This guy's going to need... Okay, th this stuff's doable, and then it needs these parts. That's doable. These parts. That's doable. That's doable. Doable. Once again, doable. Why? Did... So I can either use a quartz enriched, or I can use an ultimodium nugget. Okay. Um, doable. Yep, that can be done. Okay. Yeah, we, we can do that. That's a, that's a lot of recipes, but that is... It, it's completable. I, I had a little look. Oh, we're in the water. Oh, we're back. <laughs> I, I think we can do that. I'm going to try and do that. We'll see exactly what we need. And then um, we'll probably wrap up this episode because that sounds like a pretty good way to end it. So, I, <laughs> I've got to make one of these. Oh, my God. T to be fair, though, uh, let's do non-exact because I don't think it matters. Um, this should be really easy to set up auto-crafting for because as you can see... Each of them show you, like, the one bit that we need. You know what I mean? Like, I can just keep going down this um, this list. This is extremely... This is one of the best recipes I have ever seen. This is this is just amazing. A lot of the time when I'm making, um, like, patterns for things off camera, it is so messy. What's that? Dark glass? I don't think it matters because we don't have it set to exact. Um, and that's everything. 
But yeah, a lot of the times when I'm doing the patterns, there's so many things I have to bookmark them or not just to just to finally get to that end product. Um, infinite fluid storage fluid storage part. We're gonna need more all the modium, and actually we're gonna need more string. What a weird thing to run out of. Okay, um, all we have we have a spider bee. Um, I think that takes care of our string issue. Bee flower is gonna be wool. That we can arrange. We have a lot of wool. Um, yeah, so let me go just slap this guy down in our, um, our little apiary. Okay, the spider bee is there. Hopefully they get me some string. Otherwise, um, how can we get a hold of some string? How, do, how can we get string fast? Um, we could use a wool gin, and we can get some string from all of our wool. That's honestly not a bad idea. What I'm thinking, though, is there's probably a way to use a machine, I would imagine. We could centrifuge stuff. Yep, that's expected. Um, a crusher. Yeah. That's, that's honestly probably what we're going to do, because if I put, say, 1,000 yellow wool into the crusher, that means we have 4,000 wool. Uh, 4,000 string, sorry. Um, and that is just what I'm going to do. <laughs> There's nothing much uh, more to it. What I'm going to do, though, is probably get an exporter. Um, we'll get two of them. Can I also get some cables? I can. Here we go. I'm going to place this here, this here. I'm going to try to hook them up like so. And then I'm going to put the wool in like that. And now these are completely full of wool. They're going to, you know, get me some string as, I guess, quickly as they can. Um, and while they're doing that, let's see if there's um, another way that I can <laughs> get string that's a bit faster. All right, you know what? There's a, two, there's a few ways that I, that I can see. There's the crusher from Immersive Engineering. There's um, a mill. That's only going to give us one. That's not really worth it. Can I... What do I get from uh, the crushing wheel? If I put wool in. Two? The, the, the thing I'm thinking here is they might be a bit faster. I don't know if they're faster, but they might be. Um, what was the other thing? The crusher. That gives us four. Um, we have a crusher over here. I could see how fast it goes. From memory, though, it wasn't the fastest thing we've seen. Um, wait a second. All the wool is gone. Is it already processed? Yeah, this is all the wool. Oh, so so we've probably we've probably got enough then for um what was I after the fluid the infinite fluid storage? Yeah, we've got all the wool. Okay. <laughs> now all we need is all the modium, which we have in block form. So all I have to do is take all these blocks out, like that, make them into uh ingots, and we should be good. Infinite fluid storage. And start. Okay. Now let's get away from the sound. Um this guy's now crafting. This is a big order. This is a very big order. Oh my god. Oh, do you know why this is horrible? I'm pretty sure you would probably get the bucket back every time. That would be my guess. Um, and instead of just using the one bucket, we've gone ahead and we've crafted 10,000. <laughs> we've crafted 10,000 buckets. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I mean, it's going to happen, you know. We've got all the stuff. It's just a matter of waiting. Ooh, we have to also make a 1,000... 600 pink slime. Ooh, I, uh, I'm not a fan of that. G give me a second. Slime. Um, can we make a slime block? Is this a thing we can do yet? I remember I was trying to do that. Because um, we, we have the slime B, right? Yeah, we have the slimy B. This guy, I believe, needs slime, right? Yeah, he needs a green slime block. But I don't have this. I need, I need some UU matter. All right, you know what? Uh, but we have Sky Slime. G g wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What can the Slimy Bee use? Is it only green slime block, or does this cycle? It doesn't cycle, so it needs specifically a green slime block. Okay. Um, <laughs> how can we get that? Um, these ones are pretty sure just colored slime blocks. They're not, like, different types of slime. So that doesn't really work. What about Molten Slime? Can I... You can put a slime into this guy. That's, that's a bit morbid, a bit grim. Um, you can melt up some stuff. I don't have any of this. Uh, hmm. Oh, look, look, look at this. Cyclic, you can put any slime ball in a melting chamber, and it will give you slime. This liquid slime can be cast into a, into a slime block. Bada bing, bada boom, that is what we needed. Um, we possibly have a melting chamber over at the fluid zone over here. Um, fluid town, what was that? A giant bee, okay, of course it was. Um, where's our thing? Is it here? Yes, I believe it's here. Um, do we have it? Melting chamber? We do. Beautiful. Um, he's apparently not hooked up to power. What's going on here? 
Okay, okay. So here's the current situation. Um, I think we can do it. Where am I going? I was trying to go to the Woot area. But then I decided not to go to the Woot area because it wasn't near the Woot area. But that doesn't make sense. Um, oh, we also apparently need a... Um, a feral flare lantern. Um, so, so, so we need slime. That's the new sort of um, thing I'm going for here. Let's place that guy down. Um, so what I want to do is place down the mob controller thing for slime. For the sky slimes. Um, so mob shard. This guy right here. And then how do I turn you into a mob controller? Stygian iron plate and a prism. Okay. So we're going to grab one of these plates. And then for the prism... Um, I believe what we end up doing is we put glass into an injection press. So we're going to go ahead and grab some glass, if we're allowed to. Although, we're not looking the greatest in the glass department, I will be honest. Oh, to be honest, glass should be incredibly easy, because we have so much um, sand at the moment. We have, like, infinite sand. So I don't know where... I don't know what the holdup is with the glass. Alright, well, luckily we have some glass shards, so I can at the very least manually craft it. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's this auto-craft... Does this guy use a lot of glass? He uses some. I mean, eh, maybe, maybe. Um, what, what was I doing? What do we have? Uh, glass. The, the glass goes into what? <laughs> what does it go into? It goes into a woot. Drum roll, please. Injection press with pure fluid dye. Um, pure dye fluid. So, it is this guy over here. Injection press. Chuck this guy in. How long is he going to take? Or does he need more dye? He needs more dye. Okay. How do we get more die? Um, you should be pushing to the right. Beautiful. Okay, that that's what I originally wanted. What did I... How did I have this... Why is there just an external storage hitting here? Did, did I not properly set this up? I swear I did. But I think this works. This guy should craft more. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, let's grab this prism. Let's grab um, this, let's grab this, and I imagine I need the Yar Hammer. Hammer? No, I'll pro oh, I've got it somewhere. I've got to make a new one, don't I? Alright, Mob Shard, Prism, Iron Plate, and Hammer. Anvil must be sitting on a Magma Block. Okay. Yep, Magma Block. Hey, at least it tells you. You know what I mean? Um, place that there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, pr I'm pressing all the wrong things. Um, break this. Magma Block and Hammer. Beautiful. Mob controller, wonderful. So, up here, what do we currently have? We have a skeleton, we have a cow, we have a creeper, and we have sheep. Um, what I might do is... This might not be... The, um, do we want the pig? I don't think we need a pig. Let's break the pig, and we'll replace it with a sky slime large, okay? So now, if I click on the heart here, we should be... Oh, oh no, it hasn't updated yet. It still says um, pig. It says Pig Charm Fragment from the Sky Slime. Do you see that? It says it's from the Sky Slime. That's that's very much not what, what's happening here. Um, you know what? That's exactly what's happening. It It's only showing that the Sky Slime is going to give me a Pig Charm Fragment. Is this a joke? Am I being trolled? Why? Why is that the... Okay, so the Sky Slime thing's gone. The Pig Charm, sorry. If I place this back, I still have the Pig thing on me, don't I? Or did I put that away? Um, mob thing. The Pig is away. The Pig is not out currently. And yet... <laughs> the Pig Charm Fragment. <laughs> Why would I want a Pig Charm Fragment? What is this? Oh my god, I, I swear I just get trolled. A Pig... A Pig Lin Charm? No, 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 it's... It's saying it's a Pig Charm. <laughs> That's not even a thing. That's that's not a thing. It doesn't exist. A piglin one, or a zombified piglin, or a piglin brute. Oh my god, really? I, I kind of want to keep it there now, because I want to see where this pig charm comes in handy. Um, okay, it's not going to give me some slime, maybe? I, I, I don't even know what this is. You know what this is? No. Okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we need it for? Um, oh, yeah, we're just going to do it so that this recipe would be a little bit easier and we wouldn't have to wait for this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm trying to think of, like, whether I want to just end the episode here. I might, because I, I'm very sweaty. I mean, we got the centrifuge set up. We got the, the bee stuff. I, I think we might. 
I, I want to set up the slimy bee as well. But I need... Um, I need slime to do that. And I don't have slime. That's why I wanted the sky slime to actually work. You know what? Let me... Let me farm some slimes manually. How about that? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, this place literally right next to our base. Oh, and there's another one there. Um, is called an earth slime grass? Oh, I hear a... Oh, no, I think I'm just working on the earth slime. Um, I was going to pick this stuff up to see if I could open it up and like split it into slime balls. But when you break it, you just get slime balls to begin with. Okay, on top of that, do we have anything with fortune? We have this guy that has Fortune 4. Is that going to give me more? Let's see. Um, I mean, I hope that it will. We went from 8 to 12. No, I think we get 4 no matter what. Okay. Let me... um. Honestly, that, that should be enough. Because now I can go ahead and make a green slime block. We have our slimy bee. Let me, let me go back home. Beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh we, oh, we have a sky slime block. Let me break this. Oh. I'm a little bit worried. I don't... I do not want to hit a bee with this thing. Can I not... What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Uh, green slime block. Slimy bee. There you go. Merry Christmas. Okay. So, we, we should be getting what? We should be getting unlimited string now. Courtesy of that guy. Um, we should be getting unlimited glass, essentially. Because of this guy. Although, I still don't really understand why. When I order a bunch of glass... It's just not being crafted. I don't, I don't really understand. But I guess that's fine. Um, and we should have unlimited slime now. So honeycomb. Um, spider honey. Let's add this to the list. Why do we still... Have, oh, oh, it's because it's this guy's still catching up, right? Yeah. He's honestly not as fast as I had heard. You know what I mean? Like, they really talked up the speed by being four times faster. And it's just sort of like... I don't know. I guess the other one was that slow. So, so I guess that's it. Um, okay. Well, uh, my, my tongue's starting to twist and, and tie itself, and and um, I'm stuttering and uh, slurring my words. So it's probably a good time to end the episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, oh my god, oh my god, when you hover over this, that is that is awful. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, and da -da -da. thank you to those of you supporting the channel financially through um Discord or through ooh through new buildings. Hold on. What is this? It sort of looks like a, um, it looks like a flag. Okay. I, I wouldn't know which flag it is, but it looks like a flag. Is there anything else over here? Um, just a bunch of stuff about me being cool. Ooh, and we also... Go. Oh. <laughs> okay. We, we forgot to press that thing the other episode. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, real quick, see what is up here. Oh. 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 <laughs> It was a flag, but it's a it's a finished flag on this side, and not a not a finish. It's it's not a finished flag. It's a finished. It it looks like it's almost an Australian flag, almost almost. Um, <laughs> it feels very American just just because of the like overload of the color scheme. I reckon. Let me let me search wool real quick. What wool do I have? I do have some. Let me um let me give it give an attempt at what I would think this uh. Because over here, we're meant to have the um, the Southern Cross. Um, so what I believe it should be, if we have... Um, uh, let's get rid of this. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I might have made it worse. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, anyway. Um, thank you for that. That is, it's beautiful. I, this is, this is nice. The, the nice Union Jack in the, in the top left. I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you to Skeletal Jacob, Oathus, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, and VRifty supporting me through uh, Discord uh, donation links and whatnot. Um, and thank you to the coolest VRifty and Mugs for being uh, YouTube channel members. Um, so thank you guys. Um, yeah, also, th th there's currently, I, I don't know if it's ended yet or whatnot, but there's a server challenge taking place um, set up entirely by JP. I, I, I've, I have a little idea as to how it works, but. I uh, not entirely, not entirely. So um, there's a apparently a mystery, mystery around the island. <laughs> um, so feel free to uh, you know, try and try and figure that out. All the information uh is over in Discord, um, in, in I don't know what one of the one of the one million channels we have in there. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.